my dear Scorpio, this is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this reading will be for a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Scorpio, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind wants to happen between you two. Can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dared to tell you the truth with the brutally honest oracle cards. And for a cross watcher this reading will most likely be about where the Scorpio person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways, the drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe, and I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And if you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and free from ads, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. And I use the steampunk tarot with Barbara Moore. When I open your deck here, I see the two of wands together with the six of pentacles. So this person is trying to solve a tricky situation, how to make things equal between you two or how to be fair without losing oneself, how to give to the other person without losing, um, losing your own, losing your mind almost. Okay, so uh, I call the divine with love and light and here I have the hangman together with the seven of wands and the six of pentacles so they are opposing this that they would have to change so they probably have different parts of themselves one part wants to work together with you the other part doesn't want to work together with you and wants to you know I, I need to be loved for who I am take take me as I am or you know take it or leave it my way or the highway and then we have the hangman, so that's part of them that's ready to sacrifice themselves and be quiet just for the sake of, you know, being getting silence or calm or finally not having to be in the, uh, in a in a situation where we don't need know where where we are going to end up. So they want to have some kind of solution, so they're prepared to sacrifice themselves for this solution. So I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and we have a six of pentacles and the six the lovers. So this person wants to have a friendly solution to whatever altercation you might have been in or if there's something on the horizon that's um, going to have to be fixed, they, they want to be able to fix it. They want to find like a good way for both of you to get your needs met or... or Find a diplomatic solution to the issue, basically. Six elements, ace of cups with the six of pentacles because they love you, okay? Because they feel deep love and deep empathy for you and they only want what's best for both of you without having to, you know, change the whole core of who they are or lose themselves in the process or becoming someone that they were not just so they, they can... Um, be allowed to stay with you or be with you okay so uh six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear scorpio viewers so i want my dear scorpio nine of pentacles to have love in your life and to find yourself in loving relationships i also want you to have creative success five of wands <laughs> uh, and to find yourself uh, on your highest path towards your highest destiny uh, so i think this person is very used to taking care of themselves or being a single person not having to listen to other people or to you know change and adapt to fit into a 
constellation which doesn't include just themselves but you know other people's wills and other people's wants and needs and dreams and whatnot so it's tricky for them they want they don't want to be cruel towards someone uh, but uh, they also don't want to just adapt and become like a lamb in a flock of sheep <laughs> okay so tuning in to you the person most on your mind and uh what do they want to have happen between you two? So this is um, the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship evolving into the future here. And this is what they would want to happen. The star, hope, the fool, king of cups, seven of pentacles, uh, death and seven of cups. Um, so they don't know exactly how to solve this and they might feel like the best thing would be to walk away but they can't they have so much hope in, in this and it's it's like there's a miracle just waiting around the corner and they want to stick around for that a uh, miracle solution and um, uh, here we have the most likely action is the six of cups with the knight of pentacles six of wands seven of swords okay uh, they might have told you that okay uh, we need to give up uh, it's um, no use to continue this relationship or you told uh, this or okay there's no solution to this we can't find a compromise um, but it was a little bit of a lie it's almost like they wanted to win uh, over you by not putting in their best effort uh, but now they have they have changed their mind okay so they are willing to put in more effort or to actually change they are like considering this for real it's not just uh, a joke for them anymore something that they are trying to avoid they have faced that okay we see things in different ways we want different things but we love each other how can we solve this before they were just on oh, my way or the highway if it doesn't fit uh, then it doesn't fit if we don't match we don't match uh, but now they have realized love um, is forcing them to take this more seriously. Uh, this is their uh, intentions towards you. And we have the two of swords. So they have, a, um, they have a, a decision that they need to make. And while they are making it or why, while they have been faced with this uh, predicament, they might have been silent towards you or um, they have been less... Um, interaction between you two or they have been more um, or uh, talking less or expressing themselves less uh, so they're really trying to I'm feeling like the uh, the wheels in their head is like really grinding like this to figure this out and while doing so it's it's almost like they can't be disturbed uh, so uh, their intention is to solve this and in a diplomatic way uh, but they also feel having an element of feeling disturbed by you or that you have demands on them that uh, don't don't um, interfere don't try to it's like they want to make you shut up <laughs> so that they can figure this out their feelings for you king of swords two of swords king of swords this is aquarius this is libra energy um um so uh, we have uh, feel, we have cards that have shown a lot of feelings, but here it comes almost like this person is so focused to just figure this out uh, that they can't really connect with their own feelings at this point. But we will look deeper into this and see what's going on. But I'm seeing just this mind activity, how to solve this, how to solve this, how to solve this. Um, they are very controlling instead of just rolling with what is they they try to figure out a plan and it's uh, like they're high uh, like a person being highly irritable because they need to focus on something and uh, people are disturbing them or making them lose track of uh, their own thoughts and um, uh, it's really a person thinking too much okay this is how they see you six of pentacles okay so they actually see that you have put your best foot forward and really try to fix this so they don't want to be uh, like <laughs> they they want to be as good as you they want to also be able to prove that they are the bigger person and they can also compromise and you know be responsible things like this um hmm. and uh, here we have how they view your relationship 
and I'm feeling a sense of them having a hard time losing their freedom in the relationship, <laughs> okay? So whatever you have, like, uh, if we are to live together, you need to put, your, like, the dish in the dishwasher, <laughs> whatever you come with, they will... Uh, they will act like so, um, stand on the barricades. So I think this is a very prideful person. They have seen that you don't have so much pride and yet you have dignity. Uh, so probably you are not um, super selfish or not very e egocentric and they might have been a tad more, more egocentric and more about themselves and their own goals. Um, but they have seen that you have adapted and you have tried. So they know that this is a good thing. This is something that you should do. We have Libra energy here and here we have the scales. Uh, so it, it shows that they understand that to be a good person, they actually need to work together with you. But they have a hard time giving up their guns here. Uh, so this is what they would want to have happen. Page of Swords star card page of swords ah, they are very focused on mind activity here here they were more focused on uh, like i want you i need you i love you but here they are just trying to solve this with with their mind um, i don't think the solution is there so they're looking in the wrong place and just becoming very high strong and irritable uh, while trying to figure this out <laughs> it's a it's not going to come any logic solutions. They need to go with their heart or, you know, not go with their heart. They can't just uh, half asset or find a convenient solution that will fit both their heart and their mind. Something, it's good to have balance, but I'm feeling that this person is um, being more logic than emotional. And they need to be more emotional than logic to be able to solve this. So they have kind of lost the whole key to the situation and are trying to solve it without a key, almost with a sledgehammer instead. But the lock is important too, because I'm almost feeling like you are the lock. So they can't come at you with a sledgehammer and, you know, say that we need to remodel you so you will like other things so that we can be together and be a good match. I have father issues. <laughs> Go figure. That's why they are so stale. My surrounding didn't approve. Uh, maybe this person is brought up uh, under circumstances where people want to look like they're a little bit better than everyone else. You know, keeping a more tidy home and not speaking until they are spoken to. Uh, maybe even if they didn't have a lot of money, they might have wanted to have acted in a way that if they like as if they were a prominent family in some way. And I never wanted to hurt you. Well, uh, you can't help by getting hurt by all these swords here and all these, uh, you know, uh, weapons. <laughs> so um, it's, they are very edgy and sticky. I think that inside there, there's a, a child that just wants to be loved. Um, and a person that has a lot of love to offer and a soul that's very... Uh, devoted uh, to uh, the people that's in their life and that they love but then they have they are very conditioned in acting in a certain kind of way which makes them aloof selfish um, also disoriented lost and blocked <laughs> so it's very high mountains here it shows the kind of steep challenges that this person needs to to um, um, to overcome to be able to see things from an above perspective but luckily they have this air balloon here uh, and the page of swords it's it's almost like the jesus energy you know um uh, rebelling against uh, what is known what is established and this is also a rebel so uh, they might be rebelling towards uh, the old uh, paradigm in their family or in their culture uh, to be able to be with you they're trying to like desperately to see things from a higher perspective to to be able to see things your way or at least see things from not a pr frog perspective but an eagle's perspective so that they can determine what is right uh, they they just don't want to know what's right and then they will do that but they are so conflicted of what is right is it right to honor your parents and your heritage and your culture or is it right to honor the one you love, even if it's, um, you know, turning everything else upside down. Um, so uh, for some, it's like this. For others, it's just, you know, selfish goals. Well, I want to study 
and now we are going to have a baby together. So what am I supposed to do? I want to study abroad. I want to go to, you know, there. And now you're, say you're pregnant. It can be things like this as well. Uh, so they can have more selfish reasons. So this is the most likely action. We have an Ace of Pentacles and the Hero Font. Uh, so they know that this what's um, uh, what's between you. It's something very precious that's being offered. We see the keys here as well. So they kind of realize that you are the key in some way, but they want all the pieces of the puzzles to work together, like family, friends, uh, work, career, study, money, <laughs> all these things. Um, where you want to live, what they where they want to live, your dreams for the future, their dreams for the future. Uh, so they are making it too complicated here and trying to f fit all the pieces together. Maybe in a 20 year schedule, uh, a human mind can't comprehend that much. It's so too many variables. <laughs> it's you just they're just giving themselves headache and probably you as well. Eight of swords. Yes, headache being stuck. You know, you have something that you have been offered, but you can't take it because uh, this and this and this and that and that and that and that and that and that. So they have so many reasons to why they can't take this uh, beautiful connection and honor it. Uh, because this and this and that and that. So it drives them a little bit crazy. Six of swords. At least they are trying to solve it. But with the magician. Oof, magician, page of swords. Uh, they're still having this. It's almost like a little bit elit like elitism. Uh, thinking that you're better than other people, being of the elite, um, magician, uh, page of swords. I'm a little bit smarter than the rest of you, <laughs> so I will be able to figure this out. The six of swords is cute though. Uh, six of pentacles, six of swords. It shows that they are really honest with wanting to solve it, but the way they solve things might be a little bit con contradictionary. Six of cups. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. It's just that it's this with their ego or their, their they don't want to hum humiliate themselves and turn 180 degree and say, okay, I, I yield. I yield in front of your love. <laughs> I want you. So all my previous reason, they can just go up in smoke because yeah, I yield. So they, they can't yield. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, unrequited love it might feel like this and it's a little bit looking like this because the person isn't acting with love they're acting accordingly to stale rules and regulations or uh, how we are supposed to be so uh, while they are um, telling you that you shouldn't change me I'm like this and I won't ever be changed but in the same time they are not showing an authentic face towards the rest of the population here they're trying to look smarter brighter more polished, um, uh, following rules, things like this. So then they are like super uh, uh, conditioned suddenly. So uh, it's almost like they can't choose you. They can't to choose to love you properly. And that will make you feel like their love isn't there, which I will agree with. It's there. It's like a, a spark and, and a, you know, a dream in their heart and a passion in their heart. But since they are not going with that passion, it's very high and dry, I would say. And true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And I agree, this is a romance of a lifetime. But if we don't do anything with it, we just take it for granted and act like it's a dog poo that we found on the street, how to get it rid, like how to get rid of it from our shoes. And then it's not... Um, it's not becoming true love. It's like a person, this person is really dishonoring this uh, connection. Uh, so uh, understanding a little bit deeper here, I want to have a card that clarifies the Ace of Pentacles and the Hero Font energy here. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promises. Yes, that's what's being offered. That's what's on the table and they want it. Um, I, I fe feel like the Eight of Swords is here, the snake. <laughs> okay. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay. So um, you are being cooperative and, and they aren't. And that's why they are the snake. That's why their love feels like it's, you know, not really there, not enough attraction or chemistry because this person is. Um, 
is only honoring your love with one foot and then they have their other foot in something else and so they say yeah i want to be with you but they never take the decision to be with you because of all the reasons so therefore they are the snake and uh, you know not loyal towards you and not honoring this true love and the potential of this relationship so the page of swords um, magician situation here oh love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction i think the key here is self-love um, the person needs to really go high up with the self the the balloon here uh, the magician is much like humanity in its very early ages where we are uh, very undeveloped we might be very narcissistic uh, and we are on the brink of uh, freeing ourselves from old cultural beliefs it's like the three to six year old that says i can do things myself and in the same time they require unconditional love from their surrounding uh, so i feel that this person needs to make this uh, detachment and to realize who they are um, go on the balloon and see things from an above perspective so they can develop as a human and and learn unconditional love um, they need to get a new perspective so that they can realize the value of unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction. Because right now it's like they can't see the forest for all the trees. Um, we have this here and I feel like they are fighting for you but how successful <laughs> we'll see. Feels like this is two cards and I only want one. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Um, yeah, it's, it's, they want to solve this with you and in the same time they are fighting you. So uh, they want to get away from the love with you. In the same time they can't get away. So here they are with a the heart, they are trying to solve, you know, if, try to make you be able to be together. But with the seven of wands, it's um, like they feel I'm obsessed with you. You are a poison or I'm possessed and you're trying to control my life. Um, it's almost like they're doing rebellion against their mother and you are just becoming like in the uh, in the line of fire here. So um, very interesting photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Mm. it's hard to leave the old behind like the loyalties that we have in the past and give in for new loyalties that might trump the old loyalties but this is what this person have a hard time doing they can't abandon their uh, mom for their lover or they can't abandon their family for their their um, their spouse things like this like their original family uh, so they're not really having their partners back uh, this is the advice here, uh, uh, Lady of Lightning. So with this card, I would imagine that the Divine is uh, uh, taking over. You don't have to do so much. The Divine is working with this person. Maybe when they go up in the air balloon, they will be struck, struck by lightning. <laughs> so they will be enlightened and see the truth. Um, the Lady of Lightning brings powerful forces of change into your life. She uh, hel tells you to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances. Perhaps a situation you weren't anticipating arises and offers you opportunity of a lifetime where a series of aha moments culminates in a pivotal flash of insight causing everything to change just like that. So we can hope that this person will have um, an epiphany here with the page of swords and the um, uh, magician and um, like being struck by lightning so they will understand this what they need to understand so instead of trying to run away from love they can embrace love and and be become a grown-up person that uh, doesn't have to rebel against their spouse but might be rebelling or saying no or putting new rules in place for um, all their relationships or uh, their the culture that they come from uh, saying okay so this is how I was brought up but this is what I'm going to honor now I, I'm going to take care of my family I'm going to do this do that and uh, you are also my family but uh, these are the people I'm responsible for so choosing your new family or your your spouse and your children for example instead of 
um, this being the sheep in a, a flock of a lot of other sheep. Okay, so I would urge you to watch the reading, the true thoughts and feelings for your sign in the true thoughts and feelings playlist or the love reading for August and September that will probably reveal more about the situation. You can also watch your next relationship from the Who is Coming Towards You playlist to see if new love is coming your way or the reading three months love prediction to get the development of this story into October. On my first channel page, you can see playlists for your specific astrological sign with all the latest videos to watch. And if you want to see the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels to the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. Thank you for watching and remember to like and share this video and hit the bell notification on your way out to get updates when the next video is up. And until then, stay blessed and bye bye.